hallowed chambers and halls of the Cathedral of the Cleansing Flame are home to many, the faithful following the teachings of the Coatl, the hustle and bustle of the devout passing through the hallways, and the knights Savra Bellabranta and Samael the Reaper trudge forward, passing the faithful. As they head out of the main common chambers and through the audience chamber, Savra leads Samael to the offices of Yathana, the Archerophant of the Silver Flame. As she approaches the door, Sarva hesitates before knocking, and then with one meaty fist, says three light taps on the outside of the wooden door. From within, Samael can hear the familiar sound of the Archerophant. You may enter. Okay, we'll go ahead and push up on the door and enter the room. As you enter the chamber, Yathana is seated in a common area. This chamber is filled with scholars and papers. And the a carothont is currently standing, speaking to a young man of half-orc descent. Oh, that is fine, Jeffrey. If you could make sure that all the preparations for this weekend are in order, please bring back to me before you retire for the evening. Oh, Savra, I see that you have been mended. And Samael, it's good to see you again. Again, I... I cannot express my gratitude more than I have done so previously when you arrived at the cathedral. Thank you so much for finding Savra and bringing her back to the fold. It was my pleasure. I'm afraid we have a lot to report, though. Savra sends a side glance at you and says, <clears throat> Yeah. Huh. Is it any way we can possibly have some privacy. Well, but of course. And Yuthana looks around the room and she says, Everyone, thank you for all your help this afternoon in preparations for the weekend. Um, if you'd be so kind as to exit the chamber, I'm going to have a conversation with the paladins in the night here. Thank you. He watches each of the young men and women all very quickly gather their things, scroll tubes, things that they've been writing on, and books and ledgers, and they all begin one by one filing out of the room. Please have a seat. I will remain standing. Thank you. As you wish. Savo, surely you would like to take a respite. I'm sure you're exhausted after your orde ordeal. Something like that is not going to exhaust me. If anything, I'm begging your pardon for my cut language. I'm pissed off about the entire ordeal. I was waylaid. I nearly lost my life for ne'er-do-wells breaking into one of the oldest crypts in the dragon trips. The when watch, we arrived, we found Savra on the side of the uh, mountain. She had been waylaid and cast aside. We did manage to rescue her, though, when we moved in to try to find the uh, ne'er-do-wells that she put. So put them 
Um, essentially, they were grave robbers. Well, the watch has reported that they've had quite a bit of that activity as of late. The folks trying to pilfer belongings and looking for coin and gems that are left behind by the families. Um, they've um, put a, an a extended watch on the family, the, the the sixty families. Their tombs have been under a constant watch as of late. Unfortunately, you found out that's not the worst of it. We've got more. So we proceed into the tomb to stop the um, what we assume were just grave robbers. As we proceed forward, I led the way. Sovereign was behind me. Uh, we pushed in. And we were attacked by what seemed to be a living statue of some sort. Not a golem. Nothing that, uh, that fancy. It was um, more of an afflicted type status, if that makes sense to you. Um, we were attacked. We defeated them easily. Uh, one of my companions, uh, by the name of Byron, I believe you uh, might have had the chance of meeting him earlier. Uh, Byron was petrified, unfortunately. But... We decided to push forward. We opened the tomb and proceeded in. And this is where things turn south. South so, south. Yes, it, it doesn't get better. I proceeded into the tomb. At my side was Siegfried the Bard. We go into the tomb, and there was something monstrous in there. Um, almost lich-like. Uh, not, that's not quite right, but I'm not exactly sure what it was. But all of the grave robbers lay dead. Whatever this being was, it showed great interest in me and offered to help us. It offered to uh, let us pass, and it all, even offered to cure my friend. In return, it wanted me to do a favor for it. Now, I agreed to this because at the current time, we were in a position where I don't think we could have won. We would have all died, and the situation still would have been dire. So I agreed. It, as promised, cured the petrification of my friend. But then we later found out that the name of this creature is Gaff. And Savra thinks that it's of great importance. <clears throat> yes, well. well. Lady Athana, I... Of course, as soon as I heard this information, I wanted to bring it to your attention at once. I know that the incident that happened two years ago, that the combined powers and effort that was put forth in the loss of life weighs heavy on your mind and I Yathana puts a hand up silencing Sovereign and then she folds her hands together in a bridge and begins staring down and for a few moments she takes a deep breath and she looks up at you Samuel and she addresses you and she says this is most disturbing, Samael. You mean to tell me that you headed into this tomb and encountered a dark entity? And you made a bargain with a dark entity? Yes, I bargained for our lives. Without knowing the circumstances, I am sure that you acted within your honor of course but as you know of my history my honor is very important to me but I also thought as well that if anybody could deal with any form of dark entity and come out on top it would be me so I did not let anybody else that was with me nor any other adventurers in the party have any dealings with nor did I let them bargain with the aforementioned creature I took the entire responsibility upon myself. And the creature, you destroyed it afterwards, of course. There was no way to destroy it. It was far, far 
vastly more powerful than anything we can deal with. We came back here immediately to inform you of what we had seen. Hopefully we can get some um, get reinforcements to go back out there and stop the thing. I have no clue what it was doing. I have no clue what its motives are. But it does seem to be very, very dangerous. You say that this entity identified itself as Gath. Yes. But I will state also, it's been my experience that all dark entities like to identify themselves as somebody more powerful than them. There's always somebody out there claiming to be some devil or another. Can you describe it to me? It was large. Um, it was robed. It was hard to tell exactly what it was. But, and I know this sounds weird, but it was bone-like underneath, almost like a monstrous shape. Um, uh, it's hard to describe because it was very, very well covered. But here's the thing. Even though it was monstrous, I got the impression that it was some, somewhat lich-like. Like it was a combination or amalgamation of two undead creatures. I know that sounds weird, but that's what it felt like. It felt like something I've never seen before. And indeed you have not. And you will more than likely not encounter a creature of this nature again. This is most distressing. What else did the creature do? What, uh, what else did you discover while you were within the tomb? We discovered a halberd. The uh, cleric in our party, every time she looks at it, sees nothing but light. I still have it in my possession. Uh, unless it is claimed by anybody, I will pass the uh, ownership of it over to her. The present is, that... is that all you found? No. The bargain that was struck to me by the creature was that whenever I destroy anything of darkness, anything of evil that I normally would fight against on my own to use the dagger that it gave me. And I have the dagger with me. And was that all? And she's narrowing her eyes at you now. Still has her hands in a bridge. That is all that it required of me. It did ask to speak with Siegfried as well. <laughs> it did not ask you... You said that this was one of the oldest. Salvra, which tomb specifically? Oh, there was one other thing. I apologize, I did forget. There was an artifact in there, a uh, gold nature, a golden in nature. Uh, I have it with me. Matter of fact, give me one moment, I'll get it out and give it to you. The creature told me to take it with me as I left because it was an annoyance to it. Um, I figured it was be no harm in taking it with me. Here it is here. And I will pass the artifact over to uh, to her. As you reach into your bag and grasp the chunk of amber and pull it out, you can see now within the light, uh, within the chamber, that it is a, a crystalline chunk of amber and there is what appears to be a metallic lattice work that almost looks like a gnarled twig that twists around one end of it. It's made of some type of metal. You're not quite sure what kind. And suspended within the amber, you see a dark mass about the size of your fist. I have no clue what this is, but... It did seem really odd. I wanted to bring it back here for you to identify, see if you knew anything about it. It may be of importance. Yathana says, hold a moment. And she takes out a, a vestment from behind her on a shelf. And she lays the vestment of a silvery material, very similar to her outfit. And she unrolls it out over the the desk that she's currently seated on and then she reaches into a cabinet behind her and she pulls out a pillow that is 
also a very silvery, soft material. And she puts it on the, the table. And she says, present the relics. I will place it upon the pillow. You mentioned a dagger. Ah, uh, yes. And a halberd. Yes. I will pull these items out and place them up there as well. We will get to this artifact that this entity asked you to remove. The halberd, where was that located? That was located in a side area. No, I apologize. No, it was located in the center of the crypt. Uh, it was uh, causing uh, uh, like a beam of sunlight in there that our cleric could see. I took it with me, and I was going to t show it to her later on, but uh, unfortunately my group of friends is a rather rambunctious, and it's sometimes annoying a lot, and I have not had a chance to yet. It's all for the best. I'd rather show it to you first anyway in hindsight. Interesting. Again, Yathana, you said this was which tomb? One of the older tombs? <clears throat> yes. Um, it is the unnamed knight's tomb. The one that the folk have tend to call the silent knight's tomb. Curious. And as you rest each of the items on the table over the vestments and the pillow. She takes the halberd in her hand, she looks at it, and you watch as she begins to guide her hand along the length of the shaft of the weapon. And she traces her fingers on the intricate runes. And she says, this is a mighty weapon. It's ancient. It's a, of a design that I have not seen for quite some time. My predecessors have, of course, always... There's always been rumors of where and when this tomb was constructed. It, it predates the city. I'm sure you're aware of the history of Sean. Uh, yes, I am. I actually read up on it shortly after getting to the city. So you are aware that Sean was once a goblin city? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. I read up on that when I was reading about the uh, magic that's used to uh, help the buildings uh, be built so high here. Yes, the Manifest Zone, as they're referred to. I'm afraid I don't know much about it. I'm not quite the scholar. I just happen to just glean little bits and pieces here and there around the city, you know, just picking up on, you know, just whatever tourist information was out there. So anything more you could tell me would be ideal. Sean was once known as the ancient city of Yasharat. Over 10,000 years ago, the city of Yasharat fell to an incursion from the realm of madness. It took the combined forces of many orc and many goblinoid, along with the free peoples of Corvair, to stop this menace. Many goblinoids died. The city itself was destroyed. But the crypts, as they were then, many of them, which some of course have been defiled or destroyed over time, over the centuries, the tomb of the Silent Knight has always been rumored to be that of a tomb belonging to one of the mightiest warriors of the Dakani. Of course, the name of this warrior has been lost to time, to the ages. And this is the first that I have heard of 
an incursion within this tomb. You say that you fought statues that seem to have a life of their own that is very old magic. Beyond yes. anything that I have encountered. But this halberd, it is curious. It appears to be a halberd with the insignia and markings of one of the sovereign host. It appears to be that of Dolahar, the god, the patron of the sun. That would make sense. Our priestess is a priestess of Dolahar. Perhaps this is, it is fortuitous then that this implement of war. Maybe, perhaps, it is meant to be with you and your friends. It, of course, would have to be approved by the sovereign host themselves. I am sure that the Gaia would more than likely want to have a say in this herself and approve this. Especially since it, it was her responsibility to guard these tombs prior to Savra's sh shift. I understand. But I would I have, I would be curious to see what Guy has to say. Please inform your friend, your cleric of Dolahar, that as far as I am concerned, this implement is hers to claim. It is a no no consequence to me who lays claim to it. It belonged to someone who is long gone, who is dust. And it's though stored safely for the generations within the tomb. Perhaps it uh -huh. will it will bring a new meaning. Perhaps it will assist you and your friends. I would also like to see a uh, weapon such as this back in the hands of one of its unfaithful. I'll let her know as soon as I see her. Indeed. Um, you may leave it here in my care, or you may um, deliver it to the host yourself. Um, I would be more than happy then to transfer it to Gaia so that she may in inspect it first. Very well. Uh, should I tell my clerk to meet with Gaia, or should I tell them to come back here? I would inform your friend to speak with Gaia directly at the host. The temple is, of course, closing now to the public. So I would I would recommend that she speak to them tomorrow. I do, however, I'm I'm very curious about this this other implement, this dagger. And she gestures to it. She says, "I have." never seen a weapon of this sort it almost appears grown the handle yes. it, it appears to be made of bone and of course the blade is is no secret to me what that is that is pure kyber dragon shard you said that this entity gave this to you Yes, when it reached for it, it was a cracking sound, almost like it was being broken from its body. That is most disturbing. And you say that this entity wanted you as a part means of your bargain for your friend. It wanted you to use it in war. That is very true, yes. To Matter of fact... To extinguish life. Yes. The, the entity in question knew of my sir title as the Reaper. It also knew about the other things that are inhabiting me. And it specifically wanted me to use that knife. Now, I'm not sure what all that entails. I'm not sure how bad this could be. But... 
I'm loath not to uphold my end of the bargain for the sake of my friend. At the same time, I feel as if I might have to go write this at some point. I mean, at the point, at this point in time, it still holds core to my belief system to use this weapon about who I am that states that I shouldn't. But it's going to come back to haunt me later. But then again, how is that not anything new? Well, Samuel, I'm, I must admit, I am a, at a loss. Do you know who Gath is? Or should no, I, I can't should say I, I do. Or should to I be honest that? with you, I yes. hope he's somebody extremely powerful. And I know that sounds bad to say, but I really do hope he's strong. I hope he is the most dangerous person on this planet right now. I really do. And she leans back for a moment, bringing her hands to her chin. She looks at you, and then she looks off beyond you. And she clears her throat. <coughs> Savar, you will stay silent for what I am about to say. Well, of course, I'm, I wouldn't dare interrupt you. You mean like you're doing right now? And Sava immediately shuts her mouth. I'm going to share something with you that not many know. The reason why not many know of this is because of a decision that the Sovereign Host and the Silver Flame made. Within the City of the Dead, nestled among the rocky crags of the clifftop, is a district called Halden's Tomb. It overlooks Tavik's Landing on the eastern edge of the city. It was named for an incredibly ancient mausoleum to Gareth Halden, a great hero of the War of the Mark. His tomb predates most of the buildings of modern Sharn. And even though the Watch over the many years have kept true and vigilant, it has been thoroughly cleaned out by tomb robbers. And it still stands as a silent monument to the glory of the first period of human inhabitation of the city. There is a mausoleum within Halden's tomb. It is not a mausoleum at all, but rather a temple dedicated to the keeper. And within a lich called Gath, who dwelled in it with for centuries, did not stay there for long or reside there, but he would visit often and he would offer guidance to those who visited the City of the Dead in an attempt to gain more followers to his dark matron. <laughs> Most of the time, from reports given to me and to the Sovereign Host, he would move from Necropolis to Necropolis, mentoring other would-be necromancers and clerics of the Keeper and practicing his dark rites in other mausoleum temples. The presence of undead, which has plagued the city of the dead, which has been a constant thorn in the side of the free peoples of Sharn, has been long thought to be his doing. The host and the silver flame made a covenant to curse Gath. <laughs> a group was sent deep into the mausoleum, hunted him down, 
and destroyed him with a binding curse. He was doomed to pass from tomb to tomb, never able to leave each tomb due to the curse. He was trapped in a form, a form that you encountered, too large for him to leave, his power most, most of which was stripped, therefore he could not achieve an ethereal form and leave. But he was not destroyed completely, as we told the host. He was allowed to remain. <laughs> the reason of which I will not discuss now. I will only say is that Gath, even though he was a devout follower of the Dark Six and a champion of the Keeper, he had his useful usefulness. He kept most, if not all, of the <laughs> tomb robbers that would assault the City of the Dead out, or destroyed them outright. And in his diminished, cursed form, he could not create more undead. And now you're saying that you've seen him, and that he has asked you to carry this implement. That is correct. You do realize what this means. It means I've got something really big that I need to kill at some point. No, Samael. This means that your path is branching away from the Silver Flame. This means that My you path has always been in one direction. You know as well as I do that I've always walked the path of vengeance. And I will continue to walk that path. I understand, but you have been chosen. Whether you realize it or not, you have been chosen by the Keeper. What the Keeper wants of you, I do not know. I cannot comprehend what that dark entity working through Gath wants for you. But it is your decision, it was your decision, to treat with Gath. And I am afraid that this will continue. You will, of course, I cannot stop you. And I will not force you to turn over this implement. For I, I fear that even if you did so, it would more likely, more than likely, find its way back into your possession. An item of this nature, a keeper's fang, is a cursed weapon. Once you accept it, it is yours until you are no longer living, and potentially beyond that. I cannot break this curse, Samael. I know the conversations that we have had beyond the morning. Some things you have shared with me, and others you have not. I know that something festers in your heart. I fear that this will only make it worse. I beg of you. Please, do whatever you can to rid yourself of this. Now, as far as Gath is concerned, we will deal with Gath. Salver, I see you want to say something. If you know what's good for you, you will keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Fucking motherfucker. I have something to say. Speak. You've already tried to deal with Gath once. And you failed. 
Now, at this point, I'm going to lean down and pick up that dagger. I'm going to put it back in my pouch. I'm going to lean down to Yathana so she can see the red in my eyes. And I'm going to say, you've been using a cursed weapon this entire time. And now that it's hitting close to home, you're getting scared. But don't worry. When the dust settles, you'll still be my friend. I'll see you then. Do I have permission to leave? You do not. You will stand until I give you permission to leave. Very well. I have dealt with your headstrong nature over the years, Samael, in my own way. I have tried to teach you the best I can about tact, which of course seems to escape you. But this implement, I don't think you quite understand yet what you have been asked to do. Do you understand what it does? Not entirely, no. I, of course, have only heard rumors, stories. A Keeper's Fang is a direct link to the Keeper's Domain of Death. Every life you extinguish, every soul that you claim in battle, it will go to the Keeper's Domain. You do understand this. You, you will be sending, even though I understand that most of what you encounter, you will cons always consider the options before the killing blow is struck. Every soul you send, evil or otherwise, will only embolden and strengthen the Keeper. You are doing the Keeper's work. I understand. But see, this is something you don't understand, Yathana. I understand the nature of evil probably better than anybody. And even though I am strengthening the Keeper, in return, I am also strengthening myself. And I currently have in my possession a link to his actual whereabouts. I have the potential to actually destroy him completely, which is something that nobody else has done before. And I know it's a gamble. I know you don't like it, and I know it's not the wisest, nor smartest, nor ta most tactful thing to do. But sometimes that's what it takes. And I'm willing to uh, make that call. I trust that you will do what you feel is right. I always well, have. You have never failed me. And although I'm sure your tall friend here will disagree with things that I have said today, she will continue to keep her mouth shut as I dis discuss with you this last item. In fact, Savra, if you would be so kind as to leave, this, this last item should stay between myself and Samael. Is this agreeable to you, Samael? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, shit. Sabra. Go ahead. You're doing great. You don't need to be tied up in any of this any more than you already are. I got it. It was my responsibility. I understand, Ithana. I leave you to it. Don't expect to see me after you're done, Samael. We'll meet again some other time. And with that, she turns and she begins walking towards the door. She grabs the handle, yanks it, yanks the door open and strides out into the hall. Not quite slamming the door, but bringing it shut forcefully into the frame. You hear that loud thump as the door seats into the frame. Yathana, as, as you turn and look back to her, she is now a bit softer in her appearance as she's looking at you. And she says, please, have a seat. 
very well. Samayo, the reason why I'm not expelling you today from the order is because this third item that you have brought it's unlike anything I have ever seen before. Do you understand what it is? I have no clue, to be honest with you. I don't even understand the nature of it. And she looks like she she's wants to caress it with one hand. She reaches out to touch it, but then draws her hand back. Do you understand how a lich is able to sustain itself beyond death? A um, little more than what people have normally told me. Something about phylacteries, and I'm not even sure what those are. What are they, like, bottles? I, I don't know. Uh, I know that there's something called a phylactery, whatever that is, and they reside in it, and until that's destroyed, they can't be destroyed or something like that. 